so today i am going to talk about like how q you can connect your apple watch with your new iphone if your apple watch is connected to your old uh, uh, iphone which you may have lost or somehow it is broken and it is not getting repaired so this is connected to my old uh, iphone and that one is broken if I, I have purchased a new iphone so how can i connect so first of all you go to the setting and you have to search the setting option here you will get all the options okay in the setting section you go to the general in general there are so many options you have to go to the last and you will have to reset your watch okay so what you will have to do you will have to reset your watch but first of all you will have to remember one thing very clearly that if your watch has LTE functionality maybe you have some plans also so whenever you are resetting your watch remember there are two options reset and re erase all data or reset but keep the plan so if you have LTE watch you will have to select keep the plan erase but keep the plan okay and go to the setting erase all content else setting okay so getting only one option because this is a wi-fi uh, watch it's not lt uh, lt is not there but if in your watch if lt is there you will have to select that keep the plan okay okay so go to the setting erase all content and setting now you will have to put your password after putting your password it will go to erase all don't worry whatever data you have already stored in your iCloud whenever you are again connecting with your new iPhone it will give you option to backup now when it is erasing all the data you can basically go to your watch section and there you can start pairing so whenever this watch will start so it will take a few minutes it will not take much time it will take much time during connection but it will not take very much time for erasing the data so as soon as it will erase that very galaxy type bubble will start coming and then you can start pairing so hardly it has taken one minute not more than that and now this is restarting okay so now all the data has been erased but if you have LTE and you have selected keep the plan your plan will be there don't worry so now it's saying bring iPhone near Apple watch so what we will do we will go back as we will see start pairing setup for myself this okay so now you see that this galaxy has came now you will align whenever it will focus properly yeah now this green thing came now it has started okay see now we will set up the apple watch you will have to select which arm you are going to put your apple watch so uh, i usually put my watch on left arm so continue okay so now we have got an agreement we will agree you can put your mobile number and password so now I have put my password there okay for the Apple watch also you can put the password and uh, it is preferable you always put a passcode for your Apple watch okay so now you can put your passcode in the watch okay okay so i have selected my passcode now you can select that you want the text in the normal uh, size 
or in the bold size i need in the normal size so i will continue zoom i don't want it now continue now it is asking for the shared setting okay so if you want to share your location services and find my phone and all these things then you can set up this time uh, for wheelchair you can select this i don't need it route tracking for this time i will select all these things you will have to keep tick then only you will get the correct data from your apple watch so these are the normal setting which can you which you can select according to your preference i am not taking these medicines so i will tell no continue continue grid view or list view i prefer grid view so okay now it is signing in in my apple account and now this may take a little bit time okay now it is saying apple watch is syncing okay so now apple watch is syncing with your iphone it will sync with your icloud your apple account and it will take a good time so i will fast forward it because it is going to take a lot of time and till now you can go and check uh, the functionality of your watch and i already know so i don't need it but you can go and check it will tell uh, what is there in the new ios how you can use the different application uh, personalizing your uh, watch faces and all so if you don't know then you can go and check otherwise it is going to take a whole lot of time so i will I will start the video when it will fully sync with my mobile so it has taken approximately 7 minute for syncing and now my watch is fully synced with my phone and it is also showing that welcome to apple watch okay so now you can go and you can select your watch face so now it's not showing any reading because just now it has connected uh, but this is the default watch face for series in uh, 3 but if i will change the watch face from my mobile phone okay i will select this watch face okay now let's customize it that top left i will take uh, heart rate okay top right i will take activity okay bottom i will take battery okay done this is done so now if you will see my new watch face is showing this is my heart rate this is my activity and this is my battery so you can customize your watch face according to your convenience so that's how you can connect your apple watch with your new iphone thank you so much bye bye take care have a nice day